Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekran and welcome to this database lessons video series. In this video, we will continue to look into system global area, right? Uh, there is a prerequisite for this video. Um, you may want to click the playlist in my channel and at least uh, check the SGA part 1, part 2 series. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, in the previous video, we talked about uh, how Oracle organizes the way the data is accessed from the database buffer cache as well as the way it's written to the database buffer cache. Okay. So in this video, we will look into how those organization uh, are done. Um, Oracle needs to maintain a couple of attributes uh, to do those organization. Okay, for example, each and every block here has to have a status for Oracle to use it. Okay, and there are three statuses. Okay. One is unused. Okay, a block in uh, database buffer, all right, can be unused. Second one is clean. Okay, a status of a block can also be clean. Okay, third one is dirty. Okay, so. A block in database buffer cache can be either unused or clean or dirty. So these statuses are very important for Oracle to know so that it can decide what actions it can do on the blocks. Okay. Uh, for example, if a, a block is unused, it can write onto it. If the block is dirty, uh, it can trigger uh, a checkpoint operation, something like that. I'll come to that now. Okay. So let's look into this unused block. So for all, uh, actually, uh, this could be an a easy status for Oracle. Uh, to do operations on it. When I say easy, uh, it means that uh, it doesn't require uh, much resource to operate with this type of block. So, uh, unused here mean that the block was never used since the Oracle was, the database was started. Okay, it was just unused. That's it. There is no data in there. So if Oracle looks into it, okay. Um, sorry about that. I had to clean my throat. Okay. So uh, where was I? Okay. So this block when it says it's unused, Oracle knows that uh, it was never used since the start of the database or maybe the restart of the database and it knows that this block is available for it to copy data. Like when it reads data from the disk, it can straight away put those information in these blocks. Okay, uh, Nothing else is needed, just write. Okay, so the next one is clean. Okay, so clean means that data was written in there. Okay, when Oracle reads data from disk, it goes to the memory, right? And the data was written here. Okay. Let's say row 1, row 2, row
row 3, row 4, something like that. The data has been written there. But, right, after that, the data was not modified. Okay. No modification. Okay. So, this means that uh, the underlying block or the underlying data file, I mean, I'm sorry, the underlying block in the data file or the disk never went through any modification. So, the data here is clean. Okay. It's a consistent image of data from disk at a certain point of time. Okay, so that's the difference between unused and clean, right? Earlier, in unused, right, it was never used. This block was never used. And Oracle can write anything it wants there. Whereas, in clean, right, after the data was written, the data never went through any modification. Okay, so it's just clean. Okay, and uh, so with this, Oracle knows that this has been, uh, this is a consistent data uh, at a certain point of time. Okay, so what is the next mode? That's dirty, dirty mode, right? So in this mode, what happens is, okay, the data has already been written to the block. Okay, so these are the data, right? And after that, someone modified the data. Okay, so this one has been modified. Okay, this means modification. Okay, okay, so this, this row has been modified. Okay, so means that this has some dirty data in it. Okay, dirty doesn't really mean dirty. It means that the data has been modified but was not returned to the disk yet. Okay, so this status, dirty status, tells Oracle that the data has been modified, but it's not consistent to what is there in the disk. Okay, so uh, again, let me go over because uh, during my initial stages of uh, database administration, uh, that was like years ago, I had to struggle a lot to understand this. Even now, I think I have a pretty good understanding unless, you know, someone from Oracle, some developer or some, someone who worked with Oracle and comes down and says that, hey Sam, you are wrong. I I am ready to stand corrected, but this is what it is right now. So, there are three statuses okay unused which means that the block was never used and the second one is clean meaning that the data has been read into the block but it was not modified after that so meaning that the data is clean and a consistent copy at a point of time okay um, uh, the reason I'm saying consistent copy at a point of time being that because if the underlying block if let's say if an operation comes that wants to modify the underlying block in the disk so what happens Oracle will look for the block in SGA it will look for if the block exists in SGA so the block is already there then it modifies right so unless there isn't a modification this is a clean block okay 
and the last one is dirty the the, the status uh, last status is uh, dirty where data gets modified and then oracle marks this block as dirty these statuses are very important for oracle to decide what operations can be done and more importantly how the blocks in the D database buffer can be accessed thank you for watching